Hey everyone, it's Bruce with Tabletop Alliance, and in this video, I'm gonna be talking about the scholarly article, Let the Board Games Begin, Creative Ways to Enhance Learning and Teaching, uh, from the Clearinghouse Journal. And so this video, along with many of our other Monday videos, is all on sharing some of the scholarly resources and articles that have been posted about the power of games and education. And the reason we're doing that is because we're a 501c3 organization that is based in that, and we want to equip educators and community leaders with the resources as well as knowledge on how to utilize games to further your outcomes. And so if you are interested in that, make sure to click subscribe to this channel as well as hop on over to Facebook and join the community over there, Tabletop Alliance. So facebook.com slash Tabletop Alliance. And if you want to learn more, go to tabletopalliance.org. So let's jump into this article. Um, so for this article, uh, they were looking at how gameplay has a pot of it positive impact on brain activity and can stimulate retention. Um, and it was really cool in terms of how, how they broke down some of the different elements. So I'm gonna share some of those outcomes right now. So games can stimulate retention and engage players towards a more effective cognition compared to instruction that may be more traditional. Uh, because games are goal oriented, they often increase motivation and provide trial and error opportunities that help students develop problem solving and critical thinking skills imperative in today's world. Um, creating an immersive experiential learning environment, games draw students in and enhance their ability to process information, make decisions, apply knowledge, solve problems, and collaborate. All things we want for all of our students to be getting out of every experience, in my opinion. Um, and if players find the outcomes to be unsatisfying, either boring or random, they're unlikely to learn anything and understand the consequences, and they won't understand the consequences for their action because they're just not invested, uh, nor will they want to play it again. So you want to make your games educational, but really you want to make them fun first because otherwise they're not going to get played, they're not going to get used, and so that's why we are here. We're here to help vet that. We're here to enhance your voice if you're using games in education because you are using it on the front lines, and we want to help refine that, and we want to help share that power with others, so please engage with us. Um, what's really sad in this, they talked about particularly two different areas on using games for, so they use this framework of games to develop games. Uh, so they made some geology based games as well as a literature based games for K6 education. So kindergarten through six. And so what they were doing, they were applying some of the lessons from the literature review on using games for their purposes. And so one of the things and one of the need areas they talked about and why they did geology and the, the article was really a, an evolution of this knowledge of how, what it can do and then applying it and seeing what that experience was like. Um, and it was really great for this teacher education program. Um, but they, the, they focused in on geology because they noted that a, a results of an important geographical study uh, suggested that in the United States, youth are underprepared for an increasingly global future. 50% of American participants in the study, so 510 individuals uh, between the ages of 18 and 24, indicated it is important but not necessary, important but not necessary, to know where countries uh, in the news are actually located. So think about that. Half of the participants aged 18 to 24, we're talking 510 people, not a non-insignificant number, said that it's important but not really necessary to actually know where places in the world are that are getting talked about. Frightening, honestly. Um, so that's why they focused in on geology of like, we need to teach uh, teach people where these are, so how can we use games for those outcomes? So an elementary school teacher candidates were then tasked with designing a game that would develop the geographic skill sets for those K-6 students. Um, and they were provided with the specific National Geogra Geography's 2016 curriculum of standards for their game development. And so the ones that were related to game development were standards number one and four. Um, so standard number one was how to use maps and other geographic representations such as geospatial technology and spatial thinking to understand and communicate information. And standard number four was the physical and human characteristics of places. So the people in a place as well as how these things relate to each other with standard number one. 
And so from this, they were able to find that uh, the students who were able to do this were able to be more prepared to go into the classroom environment and to apply these skill sets. But one thing they did note was that the most successful students were the ones who had played games previously because they were more apt to actually utilize it for those means. So it's not only important to have the content, but also to prepare oneself by having an infrastructure of understanding games to then relay it to students. Um, and it's that higher order thinking. And so that's what we're really here to do is to bring this community together, to encourage the play of games, to further your outcomes and giving you the knowledge, tools, and equipment to do that. So physically giving you games, um, if you are an educator or community leader, please get in touch with us, go on the tabletopalliance.org, click create a guild and sign up on there. So that way when the resources are available, we are able to send you a game kit to use for your after school club or your classroom environment, whatever that may be. And so it should ask you some basic questions, but hopefully this is motivating to you because this is a major challenge of having students understand where places in the world are. And this, this article shows the power of how that can come together. So if you like this, make sure to click subscribe on this if you haven't already. Uh, and I'll see you again for the next Motivation Monday, probably in two weeks. Um, so until then, go make your positive impact on the world.